Hello friends, this is React PHP CRUD application tutorial series, and in this video, we will learn how to create edit component under this React CRUD application. And then after, we will set route for that edit component under this React application. In previous part, we have already learned how to insert data under this React CRUD application. Now we want to edit existing data under this React CRUD application. So first, we need to create edit link in each row of user data, so we have goes to user list file. And here in action column, we have to write link tag with to attribute is equal to slash edit component name slash user dot id and here we have to define class name attribute also. After this, we have to write edit as text, so it will create link for navigate URL to edit user data form. After this, we need to create edit data component, so here, we have to create new file in component directory with name like edit.jsx. Under this file, first we have to write import react, and then after, we have to import use effect and use state hook from react library after this we want to import link use navigate and use params hooks from react router dumb library here link hooks we will use for create routing link for navigate from one component to another component and use navigate will use for navigate from one component to another and this use params hook we will use for get value from link Now we have create edit javascript component function and under this function we have to write user id variable is equal to use params function so it will get id from link. Next we have to define user and set user variable is equal to use state hook. So here we have using use state hook from react library and here user is a state variable which will hold the user data and here. We have initialize object with three properties like first name, last name and email. And here, this user object will represent the data of the user, which we want to add. After this, set user is a function that allows you to update the user state. So when we have called set user with new data, then React will re-render the component with updated state. Next we have to write handle change callback function. And this function is used in React component for handle changes into input field under form. Under this function, we have to write name and value variable is equal to event.target. This code will destructing to extract two properties from event.target object. Here name property of the input field, which is often used to identify the specific field value has been changed and value property of the input field, which contains the new value entered by the user. Now we have to write, set user function, and under this function, we have to write, spread operator, with user variable, so this code will copy, all existing properties from current user object. After this, we have to write, name key with value variable, is an object property, with the dynamic key. And here, it uses name variable, which corresponds to input field name, as key, and it assigns the value, to the new value of input field to it. So on every input field value change, then it will update, the user state variable object data. Next want to make, one javascript function, for fetch data from mysql database. So here we have to write, fetch user data function, and under this function, we have to write, fetch javascript api and under this we have to write api link and after this we have to write id variable is equal to user id variable so it will send get request to php api for fetch single user data from server after this we have write then call back function and this function will receive data from server 
and under this function, we have to write response.json method, so it will convert data into JSON format. After this, again we have called then callback function, and this function will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have called set user function with data as argument. So this function will update value of user state variable. Now we have to write use effect hook function and under this function we have called fetch user data function so this function will fetch data from server and this use effect hook will update data on the web page now below this we have to write return statement which will return structure of this component under this first we have paste this sample html code and after this first we have to create edit form so here we have to write form tag with method is equal to post under this form first we want to create input field for get first name data so here we have to write input type is equal to text and name is equal to first name and class name is equal to form control. After this, we have to write value attribute is equal to user dot first name. So it will fill this text box with user first name data. After this, we have to write on change attribute is equal to handle change function. So when we have type under this text box, then it will update this text box value under user object, first name key value. After this, we want to create another input field for get last name data. So here, we have to write input type is equal to text and name is equal to last name and class name is equal to form control. After this, we have to write value attribute is equal to user dot last name, so it will fill this text box with user last name data. After this, we have to write on change attribute is equal to handle change function. So when we have type under this text box, then it will update this text box value under user object last name key value. Next, we want to create another input field for get user email data so here we have to write input type is equal to email with name attribute is equal to name and class name attribute is equal to form control after this we have to write value attribute is equal to user dot email so it will fill this text box with user email data after this we have to write on change attribute is equal to handle change function so when we have type under this text box then it will update this email text box value under user object email key value and lastly for submit form data so here we have to write input type is equal to submit with class name attribute is equal to button and button primary class and in value, we have to write edit, so this code will make submit button for edit user data. So here our edit user data form is ready, now here we have to write export default edit, so it will export this edit component, and we can use this component in other file also. Now we have goes to app.jsx file, and first we want to import edit component under this file. So here we have to write import statement with component name edit and after this we have to define path of edit component file after this we want to set route for this edit component so here we have to write route tag with path attribute is equal to slash with component name edit and after this we have to write user id so this user ID value will be get at edit component by using use params hooks. 
After this, we have to write element attribute is equal to edit component. So this code will set the route for this edit component. Now we want to make view user list link on edit component. So we have goes to edit file. And here we have to write link tag with to attribute is equal to slash. And after this, we have to write class name attribute is equal to bootstrap library class. And in button text, we have to write view all. So when we have click on this link, then it will render user list page and display user list on web page without refresh of web page. Now we have goes to action.php file and here this API will receive get request for fetch single user data. So we have goes to this block of code and here we have to write if statement. And under condition we have to write is set function and under this we have to write dollar get id variable. If this variable value is set that means it has received get request for fetch single user data. And under else block, we have put this code for fetch all user data. Now under if block, we have to write dollar query variable is equal to select star from sample users table where id is equal to dollar get id variable value. So this select query will fetch single user data from sample users table. Below this query, we have to write dollar result variable is equal to dollar connect variable with query method with two argument. In first argument, we have to write dollar query variable and in second argument, we have to write PDO class fetch associative method. So this code will execute above query and return data in an array format. Now we have create one dollar data variable is equal to an array and under this variable we will store single data. Now for fetch data from this dollar result variable so here we have to write for each loop and under condition we have to write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop for store first name column data so here we have to write dollar data first name variable is equal to dollar row first name table column name next for store user last column data so here we have to write dollar data last name variable is equal to dollar row last name table column name after this for store user email table column data so here we have to write dollar data email variable is equal to dollar row email table column name and lastly, we want to store id table column data under this dollar data variable. So here we have to write dollar data id variable is equal to dollar row id table column name. Now we want to send this data to client in JSON format. So here we have to write echo statement with JSON encode function with dollar data variable. So it will send data in JSON format. So friends, here our code is ready, now we have goes to browser, and here first we have to refresh web page. And after refresh of web page, so here we can see that, user data has been display on web page. And here, in each row, we can see that, edit button has been created. So when, we have click on this link, and after click on this link, we can see that, edit user data form data has display, on web page. And here all form field has been filled with data. And here we can also view link for goes to user list page. So in this part, we have make edit component. And then after we have set route of this edit component. And then after we have make PHP API for fetch single user data and display under edit user form. In next part, we will show you how to edit user data by using PHP edit API under this react crud application so we will be meet in next part